Hey everybody, welcome to our last uh, day of Vacation Bible School here at Berea, day five as we continue our series on Children of the Heavenly Father. We open today in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Today as we talk about Children of the Heavenly Father, I wanna ask you, what's the biggest problem you've ever had? Was it a math homework assignment? Or maybe you had a special project for school you had to get finished. Or maybe your room was a mess and it was a huge problem trying to clean it up. We all have problems in life and sometimes we think that since we're children of the Heavenly Father, maybe we shouldn't have problems. But we know from the Bible that there's a lot of believers who had problems and some of them were big problems. Sometimes God allows problems to come into our lives, like we get sick, or someone we love dies, or maybe there's different problems that exist in our lives, problems that God didn't bring into our life, but sin brought into our life. Maybe there's problems at home, or maybe it's a problem with your friend that you're fighting over with. Maybe it's a bigger problem like a problem of your health. Maybe you're sick or you had a surgery or maybe you just don't feel good. Whatever the problem is, we know that as children of the Heavenly Father, we're gonna have problems because we live in a world full of problems and sin. Sometimes those problems come to us from the outside. Sometimes people might make fun of us because we believe in Jesus and we believe what the Bible says is true. Sometimes people might make fun of us, even people that are supposed to be our friends, when we say we won't join in sin with them and doing naughty things. Today, as we wrap up hearing about children of the Heavenly Father, we're going to hear about one child of the Heavenly Father who had one big problem. In fact, it was a giant problem. It was a giant named Goliath. And maybe you've heard this story before. It's a pretty awesome Bible account of David, who was a young man at this time, probably just a teenager, and a giant warrior named Goliath. Now, as the Bible describes Goliath, we think he probably was about 10 feet tall. So if you want to try to picture that, Imagine in the picture behind me, you have the cross. And imagine the head of this giant almost reaching the top part or the middle part here where the cross beam of the cross goes right underneath that circle. That's about 10 feet tall. That's how high a basketball hoop is. Can you imagine someone that big and strong with a huge sword and a shield and a spear? coming at you to fight you, that's a giant problem. That's a giant man who's coming to hurt you. But he wasn't just threatening the life of the children of the Heavenly Father. He was also making fun of their faith and making fun of their God. And so David goes into battle against this giant the giant Goliath comes at him with a sword and a spear and a shield. And David, all he has is some smooth stones from a river and a sling that a shepherd would use to wheel around the stone and throw it in order to ward off enemies of the sheep he's keeping. But actually, that wasn't David's greatest weapon. As you hear about David today, pay special attention to how he goes into battle against Goliath. It's not just with a sling and a stone, it's with the name of his God. Well, there's a lot of problems we face in life that are bigger than Goliath was. Bigger than a giant with strong muscles and a sword and a spear and a shield. We have a bigger problem than even cancer. A bigger problem than your math homework. We have the big problem of sin. That's a giant problem that we can't fight off. 
We give into sin every day. There's another giant problem we face, and that's death. And actually, the two go together. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. So what we earn by our sin is death. We can't stop sin. We can't stop death. It's charging right at us. But do you know someone who ran into battle for you? It's Jesus. And he ran into battle, not with a sling and a stone, but what do we have behind us? The cross. Jesus battled sin and battled death on the cross. And on Easter, when Jesus rose from the dead, he was announcing victory. Sins are forgiven. Heaven is your home. Now, as children of the Heavenly Father, you don't have to fight sin because Jesus fought it for you. You don't have to fight death because Jesus fought it for you, and he won. And he gives you the victory. So as children of the Heavenly Father, Jesus promises to guard you and protect you from all evil. Yeah, problems are going to come into our lives. We'll get sick. We'll physically die one day. But the Bible says that God makes all things work together for good to those who love him, to those who are called according to his purpose. So that means that you, as a child of God, even if you have the problem of cancer, or even if you have the problem of COVID, God promises he can make it work together for the good in your life. And even if you die, that's good too. Because that means you get to go to heaven to be with Jesus where there will be no more problems, where there will be no more sin, and there will be no more death, no more giants to scare us. That's what Jesus has done for you. So as you hear about David and Goliath, I want you to think about what Jesus has done for you and how he's fought your enemies for you, and he's won the victory by his death and resurrection. Why don't we pray? Dear Jesus, we thank you and we praise you for fighting the victory against sin and death and winning the victory by rising from the dead on Easter. Help us always to rejoice in your victory, even as we battle against sin and we battle against temptation and we battle against evil. Help us to be like David and go into those battles with your name, trusting in you for deliverance and for victory. As we conclude our VBS this year, we thank you for blessing us through your word and strengthening us as children of your heavenly Father. Continue to watch over us and bless us. Help us to gather together safely once again in your name, that together we can sing your praises. And now, if you join together as we pray together to our heavenly Father, just as Jesus taught us, we join together to pray our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed our Vacation Bible School this year. We certainly hope, wish you could have been here in person with us, but we're still glad to be able to share God's word with you. Hope to see some of your pictures shared online. May the Lord bless you and your families, our church, and our communities. Until we see you next time, may the Lord be with you. Bye-bye.